Ahoyte! Ditaite in the Moyum YouTube channel. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I'm a Filipina living in Slovakia. Thank you so much for joining me again today. And if you have seen my previous video, then you might have remembered that I briefly mentioned about the land that we bought here in Slovakia. If you haven't seen that video, then I will leave the link here or here or I will leave the link in the description below so you can check it out every anytime. Today I am here in the old house and I wanted to share with you some of the video clips of this land that we bought last spring in the middle of the pandemic coronavirus. It is almost a year now since I moved here in Europe and in the beginning I thought that I will be traveling around Europe. It was like a dream come true. But then the pandemic happens and we were stuck. Like everyone else, we get depressed, we get sick, almost lost our jobs. But during this time, we also have a lot of time for ourselves and we did a lot of thinking. We realized some of the most important things in our life that we have overlooked. So like for example, we appreciate our freedom to be with the nature and just breathe some fresh air. It did not matter to us that we were not able to go to the restaurants anymore or go shopping in the malls or watch a cinema but we love our afternoon walks and when the lockdown happened those afternoon walks became limited and it really stuck us so that what if this is going to be our new normal life then that is when it hits us that we don't want to live in a city in a four corner apartment for the rest of our lives it's just something that we don't want to do and maybe for some people they enjoy or they like living in a city but for us it's not like that and i respect that we all have different views or perspective in life and i'm okay with that but for us we want to have a home where we'll be able to lay on the grass, watch the sky, enjoy some sun, and breathe some fresh air as much as we want. In the Philippines, I will call this Buhay Probinsya. And along with those dreams, we wanted to have a home where we can be sustainable and have a good quality food supply. So what we decided is to buy a small piece of land so we can build a homestead. And we got lucky to find this lot and with a really old style house which is probably about 80 years old so let me show you around as i have mentioned we think that this house is probably around 80 years old already you see from the style of the house that it's really old in my observation this is like a typical old village house here in slovakia we also reckon that maybe the old owners long time ago used their land to plant some crops and sell them as we found a lot of crates that are probably used for vegetables and fruits as well and a lot of corns in the attic. The house is actually quite big for us. The total area is about 130 square meters and in my preference, I don't like big house. It's too difficult to maintain and you have to clean a lot. Plus, husband is so messy and I'm a clean freak so a house that is big like this is not a good idea. So there are three rooms in the north side of the house. There are, they have all wooden floors, which I really like. They look ugly now, but we plan to have a professional do a deep cleaning and it will be nice again for sure. The floors of the corridors are terribly ugly. Later on, we plan to change it as well. There is also a, a small room for the storage. This makes me happy because in the future I will preserve our own produce. So this is where I'm going to store them. Oh, 
toilet and bathroom or washroom let's say is here again terrible terrible interior but everything is working perfectly fine except this ugly water heater hanging on the wall we'll have to change it as it doesn't work anymore The house also have a garage, fortunately. It is quite big and with two separate rooms that can still accommodate some storage spaces for the food. Our kitchen is pretty small, husband likes to cook and I like to experiment on things so we hope to make this space bigger someday but for now it is functional so we can already use it. After the kitchen on the south side of the house there are still three rooms that we plan to maybe cut off in the future as it is the old part of the house and the walls and the floors are not good condition anymore. But for now, we will use them as a storage space. The house also have an attic but I will not show it to you today because I got scared to go up and take some videos as it is dark, messy, and I'm a crazy scared little girl so I'm sorry about that. Now let me show you outside the house. The lot is about 2,200 square meters in total and 130 of it goes to the house and the rest will be our garden where we are going to grow our own food. At this date, the place looks like a jungle. I already saw a lot of lizards, so I am careful when I am stepping though they are not really harmful but i'm still scared of them What we love about this lot is that there are already a lot of fruiting trees like apples, pears, varieties of plums, apricots, peaches. There are also three walnut trees but we want to cut two of them because they are somehow damaging the foundation of the house. Apart from that, there is also 30 meters of grape vines, which is really great. I saw that they are fruiting very nice already, so in autumn, we're gonna have some nice grapes. On the other side, there is small blackberries and raspberries, which is absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to try them when they get ripe. The process of buying a property here in Slovakia is very straightforward. Maybe in two months, we already got the keys and started planning. I remember when we were trying to buy a condo in the Philippines for a year. I can't believe how long it is, but thankfully, it's already part of the past now. So, One thing for sure is that we are so excited to build our homestead. We imagined a lot of things to do and a lot of things to change in the house but also our time and resources are very limited. 
So I always like to remind myself to be patient and take things slowly. Most of the time, we get swayed with our fast-moving society that we forget to just sit down and relax and enjoy the moment. Since me and my husband still have full-time job in the city, we can only go in our old house during our layoffs. And with that, we want to finish as much job as we can, but then that makes us easily burned out. And for me, realizing that no matter how hard we work, at the end of the day, there will still be more tasks to be done and things will never be truly finished until we say to ourselves that what is done is finished. And that is such a beautiful realization for me because our days in this old house became a lot easier when we were taking a pause from our working and just admiring and appreciating the work that we have done for that day. We know that there's still a lot of workload that needs to be done until we can have our homestead, but that's okay. We are going to take things slow from now on and work at a pace that will allow us to enjoy each and every moment. And I hope that whatever you are doing in your life right now, you also learn to take it slow and just enjoy the moment. Don't forget to appreciate the small things that you have done already and give yourself permission to enjoy it. That's it for today, guys. I will see you again in my next videos where I am going to share more progress about this old house. If you are also building a homestead and or maybe you already build your own piece of heaven, share with me your experiences. I would love to hear some tips and tricks from you guys. And also, tell me what you think about the house. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you again next time.